to my YouTube channel, Bookshelves and Beyond. I hope you're all having a wonderful, I was about to say fantastic, and then I said wonderful, so it came out fantastic. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Anyway, I sure am. I've been really unwell this week, but I am starting to feel a lot better. So I'm here filming a video for your lovely human beings. And this is actually a video that I had not planned. I was gonna do my wrap up for last month along with a autumn TBR. I only read two books in the last month, so there isn't really much to discuss. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but I have this urge to cut my hair which is why it looks very messy and I haven't done anything with it this morning. I've literally just done my makeup. My partner showed me some pictures of what I would look like as AI. Like he showed me, like he put like some pictures of me through AI and they came out and I wanna look like AI now. So we carrying my hair today. So I'm gonna cut back this much off. So not a huge amount, but what I'm mainly gonna do is pop some layers in it because as you guys know, I've got like really thin hair, so I'm hoping that will make it look really cool. I wanna do like, I want it to look messy, but tamed messy. Like not like, oh, I haven't brushed my hair messy. I want it to look like alternative messy. So we're gonna cut my hair. I'm not gonna wet it. I'm not gonna do what I'm supposed to be doing when I'm cutting my hair. I'm gonna do an awful job of it, but we're cutting it anyway, and I'm gonna be super happy with it. So I don't have much time because I'm going out later. So I am gonna try and like be quick about it. So I've got you guys with me in the bathroom and I'm gonna, what am I saying? I'm gonna time lapse it so that you guys can enjoy some music because we love music. I've got a comb with a thing and I'm gonna part my hair in different sections so that I can put in some layers. I have seen various different tutorials online of like butterfly cuts, wolf cuts, those sort of things. I'm gonna roughly follow a mixture of those. So that's what we're gonna do. I actually did trim my fringe, was it yesterday evening I did it? So like that's gonna stay, like after I style it properly it'll be fine. So I'm gonna do that and yeah. Enjoy the ride, have fun. I did my makeup this morning. I hope you guys like it. I like it, I love it. it makes me look very alternative, which I love. So I'm gonna move you guys there. Ignore the messy shower. I've been unwell, so I haven't cleaned it for a while. But yeah, enjoy the video. Feels a million miles away But when I'm close to you I pray that I'll never have to leave There's nothing more in life I want Than just to feel your beating heart And let you know that I am near The sun is setting fast, I know and I can feel you bid me go But I don't want to leave just yet Cause I've got so much left to see But I know I'm free to make that free If I ain't got you by my side Oh, my love Won't you come and walk with me a while Time don't stop even in the middle of a dream. So turn the car around and leave. Meet me underneath the tree inside the valley that we made. And with our hands we'll make the best of the life that we have left. And we will never say goodbye. Oh, my love 
inside the valley that we made And with our hands we'll make the best Of the life that we have left And we will never say goodbye And if we do we'll meet again Knowing love was heaven sent And I've never felt this way
care about you And I will always love you I will always care about you Come on, run away with me We can see what there is to see In your arms like a crazy dream See you running through an open door I don't want to be alone no more In your arms like a crazy This is the hair. <laughs> I it probably looks really bad. And my hair is falling out, which is just so nice. But you know what? I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't mind having bad hair. I love it. Gives it personality, you know. I am going to so I just tied these bits under my ears on both sides so that um I don't have to keep on in my hair like behind my ears like this isn't gonna go in my face and I quite like the look of it so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna not necessarily curl my hair but I'm gonna add some something something to it but I'm actually gonna do it off camera because I don't want people judging me I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then um, I will come back and show you guys what it's looking like after that and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna wear today as well I dropped you and I nearly ruined everything but we're alive we're here so what I'm gonna do now is now that I've somewhat done something with my hair I'm going to get rid of that bit because I don't know what that's doing there and just there I should have really done this before I did my makeup because it was getting stuck to my face. What I'm gonna do is a trick that I like to do and it works. So I like to do it. So I usually tend to wear my hair in front of me like this instead of having it behind me. So what I like to do is I like to hold it like that, get some hairspray. Kind of just do that, let it dry a little bit, and then when I stop leaning, it kind of makes it look a bit floofier. I'm probably not the only one that does that, but it works. So, look, it looks floofier now. I look like I have more hair than I actually do. So I'm gonna do it on this side as well. So I literally just lean over, so it's kind of like dangling from the hair. Spray. It, not on your neck, but on the actual hair itself. Ooh, I'm not very good at doing it left handed. And then if you kind of just leave it for a little bit, just so the stickiness goes away, because I don't know if it's the brand that I use. I use the Schwarzkopf uh, hairspray, this one. Um, maximum hold um i don't know if maybe it's the brand that i use but it's sticky for about a couple of seconds after i put it on so i like to just let it sit before i touch it because it gets stuck to everything and then i bring it back and look it's made me have thicker hair but obviously don't get it in your neck because now my skin feels funny yeah, it literally makes me it look like I have more hair than I actually do, which is great. You could probably do it to the root as well. And now tomorrow is hair wash day, so I can experiment all I like. Well, it should have been today, but I'm going out in about. I looked on my wrist because normally I have a watch on, but I don't have a watch on. I'm going out soon anyway, so I don't have the time to do it today. But yeah, if you do it to your root, it kind of gives you a bit of body. Now, I have a lot of hair, but it's very thin and it falls out very easily. Probably because I dye it a lot, but that's what I look like. Cute? Or am I just delusional? <laughs> and because I'm going to be outside today, so we're going to the football, 
And no, I'm not going to share which football team I support because I do not want to be bullied on the internet. But we're going to the football. So I'm going to be outside. It didn't look that windy, but I don't know. So I need to spray down the fringe as well. Just so that's not blowing anywhere. Last thing we want is to, <laughs> that to go up and make it look like a unicorn. But yeah. This is the hair. I probably should have finished it after I changed because I'm gonna have to take this top off now. But this is it. This is what I look like. Hi guys, if you've made it this far through the video, thank you so much for watching. It really means a lot to me. I have realized that I didn't film an appropriate outro, unfortunately, so here it is. I'm currently actually editing this video that you're watching now, so I'm having to quickly just jump in and put together an outro for you guys so I can quickly pop it in for you. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it just as much as I have. I am loving my hair being slightly shorter, a little bit more manageable, and the extra layers, I think, actually add a little bit something to my hair as well. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm hoping soon that I'm going to be able to dye my fringe again. But I'm trying to hold off for as long as I possibly can. Because I know my hair isn't doing that great. It is particularly dead at the front. So I'm trying to preserve it for as long as possible. But I'm also wanting to move this over a bit more so it's a slightly bigger chunk. I like it not being directly in the middle but I think I need to bring it over just a tad bit more so it isn't such a small piece that's also the, the brown colour. On top of that as well, I want to dye it over the brown with black again because it's kind of faded out. I think my problem was is when I dyed it black last time, although it was permanent, I actually dyed it over red. So the colour underneath is now coming through, which makes sense to, to, as why I'm getting this brown colour. So I think I'm going to probably go in with semi-permanence for the time being and concentrate mostly on the root area and do it from there and then, you know, it, it will look fine. Because the end of my hair is actually quite dark, but it, it's just that these bits here, particularly the roots that are starting to come through, that are coming through that kind of red, reddish, kind of brownish colour. So I think I'm going to do that, but that will obviously be in a video when I do that as well. After autumn, when we start going into the winter months, so probably mid to late November, I'm actually going to change this colour to blonde and go back to like an icy white blonde for this part of my fringe. I did that before and I absolutely loved it. However, I only did it with this bit as brown, but I want to do this bit as black and then this bit as blonde. So we'll do that but i'm gonna let my hair kind of heal for a little bit first in the state that it's currently in because i don't want to put any more bleach on it for the time being and i want to say orange and black for the halloween autumn season and then we get to um change my color ready for christmas as well it's usually a little bit more manageable when i go blonde as well because i'm not having to bleach plus add color i am at the minute not bleaching my root and i'm just adding semi-permanent orange over the top my natural color is quite a mousy brown color so it is quite light and it does take to the color quite well but the, for, for the time being you don't really notice and especially when my hair is actually washed it looks fine that is my hair journey I also wanted to just say that Please don't copy any of the things I do. Although I care about my hair, I know that it could fall out very easily, especially from some of the things that I do. I don't cut it properly, I don't dye it properly, I don't maintain it properly. So please don't watch this video as a tutorial, watch it as a haha, this girl doesn't know a thing of what she's doing. So I just want to put that disclaimer out there as well. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're here and also like the video and leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it. Make sure to also follow me on all of my social media which is always here at the bottom of the screen and it's always linked in my description box. I also wanted to point out as well that I now have a Twitter or an X account. I'm not fully promoting it yet because I've only just got it and I don't know how I'm going to work it. Originally I didn't have one because my name didn't fit as the username. 
so you can only have a certain amount of characters and bookshelves and beyond didn't fit so I've actually given myself the username of Lacey B and B which you'll know is the same as my Vinted account so hopefully because those two match it's not too bad Vinted also it didn't fit so that's why I had to do the smaller one but I will make sure to try and remember to include it in the description box as well for this video so if you do want to start following me on Twitter then obviously you can go and do so again I don't know sort of what content I'm going to be putting on there for the time being it'll probably mostly be for sharing my content but we'll wait and see for that that's a learning curve I'm, I'm willing to sort of go down but make sure to follow me anyway so you can stay up to date with those sorts of things and that's about it really I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week like always I am so excited for my next video because I believe if I remember rightly now don't hold me to this but I believe my next video is my Halloween decorate with me so I will be adding some Halloween decorations to the rest of my decorations that I've got up at the minute as you guys know I've already decorated for awesome so that's all out and I'm just waiting to get those Halloween touches up for the beginning of October I also bought some new Halloween decor that I'm excited to show with you I've been waiting until that video to do so to, to kind of include it all in one video and I also am planning on making some Halloween themed shortbread cookies that I'm also going to share with you guys as well so make sure you subscribe so that you can obviously stay tuned for that and keep in the loop and be ready for that video because I'm super super excited the book content will be coming back I know I only have uploaded one bookish video in the last couple of weeks but I have been busy with work and I've been busy with my personal life and that has really taken a sort of a back step for me the autumn videos were kind of easy for me to do because i filmed it all in one go and just edited it into two pieces um and the book box video i already had done it anyway apologies no book content currently at the minute i'm also hoping to reorganize my bookshelves which i will include in a video that will probably be in october as well so you guys will have that to look forward to we'll keep it super cozy like always i also have my birthday at the end of october so we've got that to look forward to as well and possibly possibly if I'm lucky I might be getting another tattoo but we'll find out together anyway hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope to catch you in my next video next Sunday bye